how to divide integers. So for example, positive 8 divided by positive 4. So it's the same as asking how many groups of 4 positives from a set of 8 positives. So let's visualize this. You have the 8 positives and then we will group this by 4 positives. So we have the first group and the second group. So we have two groups. That means positive 8 divided by positive 4 is positive 2. Another example, negative 8 divided by negative 4. So let's visualize negative 8 with 8 negatives. And then we will divide this with group of 4 negatives. And so we have one group and another group. So there are two groups of 4 negatives. That means negative 8 divided by negative 4 is positive 2. Now how about this? Negative 8 divided by positive 4. So let's visualize negative 8 as 8 negatives and then we will group this by 4. So we have the first group and the second group. So we have two groups. That means negative 8 divided by 4 is 2. But then these two groups are not groups of 4 positives, but instead it's group of 4 negatives. Or we can call it groups of the opposite. So since it is not the group that we are looking for, but it is the opposite, so we'll put a negative sign to the quotient. Another example, positive 8 divided by negative 4. So let's visualize positive 8 with 8 positives and then we will group this by 4. So we have the first group, the second group, so we have two groups. So 8 divided by negative 4 is 2. But then again, this is a group of the opposite. Instead of a 4 negatives, it's a group of 4 positives. So the, it is not the group that we are looking for. And so we will put a negative sign to our quotient. Since you have learned how to solve uh, dividing integers using the concept, then I will teach you now how to solve this using the rules as it is faster to solve and it is more organized. So we have two rules for uh, dividing integers. First is same signs and the second is for different signs. So as you can see it's almost the same rule with addition, um, multiplication and now for division. So if it's the same signs, the quotient or the answer for dividing is always positive. For the different signs, the quotient is always negative. So let us use the previous example. Positive 8 divided by positive 4. So we have same signs. So for same signs, the quotient is always positive. So 8 divided by 4 is 2 and it is positive. Next is positive 8 divided by negative 4. So they have different signs. So for different signs, the quotient is always negative. So positive 8 divided by negative 4 is 2 and it is negative. Another one, negative 8 divided by negative 4. So they have same signs, which they are both negative. And then if it's the same signs, the quotient is always positive. So negative 8 divided by negative 4 
is 2 and it is positive next we have negative 8 divided by positive 4 so we have different signs a negative and a positive so if, that, if they have different signs the quotient is always negative and so negative 8 divided by positive 4 is 2 and it is negative thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section